Hey everypony, it's Ruby again, and today I'm doing a beginning video tutorial for drawing ponies. Um, this one is just for heads. Um, I find I put a lot more detail into heads than I do bodies. So first we start off with our foundation. Um, we have a circle and a line, and actually we can have two lines if we're going to do certain types of heads. Um, my first circle is for something that's a uh, side view. My second one is for three-quarters view, and uh, my third one is for straight on. Um, and then our second step is simply to draw the head around the circle. Um, I take the nose out a bit, and when I do three-quarters view, I go in for the eye and out for the nose. Well, cheek, actually, because it's a three-quarter view. And uh, for straight on, it's a little different. It kind of looks like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I grew up on. You have like this bowl top with a larger bowl bottom. Um, you sort of stylize that and put in some cheekbones if you want. And um, that's the gist of pony heads. Next, we're going to add eyes. Eyes are fun and simple. They're sort of an almond shape or a pointy egg shape, except your top one is always going to be rounder. It's going to be larger. And then we throw on some eyelashes, a big circle in the middle with a smaller circle in there, and we color that in, leaving just one part white. And we leave that one part white because it's a highlight. It's an eye highlight because if you look at eyes, they're always reflect reflecting light. So. Um, that's what that little white part is. That's an eye highlight. And um, I also went ahead and added uh, the nose detail on my front facing pony as my, well as my three quarter facing pony. Um, it's just a line to show the contour of the nose. Next. Um, we're going to go on to ears. Ears are basically triangles with curves. Um, unlike a person whose ears are actually in line with their eye and their nose, they're above the eye on a pony. and um, But they're not directly on top of the head. They're sort of to the side, but still above the eye. And so that's where we put it. Um, I always draw like little inside flaps and things like that and give it definition and shape and so you can see um, the parts of the ear. I like forward facing ears but they're sort of just like my side facing ears except they have two flaps or two two edges I guess I don't know. Um, next we're adding a forelock that's the bangs a pony has or the hair that comes up front It is called a forelock. Um, I know these technical terms because I started drawing ponies I started drawing horses, actually, as a child. Um, what I did was trace, actually. I traced and traced and traced and traced. And I don't I don't say that tracing is a good thing to do unless you're trying to learn. If you're tracing and then posting it on the internet and being like, hey, cool, look what I drew. I'm awesome. That That's kind of bad. That's actually really kind of sucky. Um, but if you're tracing in order to train your hand, train your mind, train your thoughts, um, train yourself, train your art, that's fine. Um, as we can see with my forelock, I have a dip down where the forelock will actually come over the head and, um, and then we have the what comes behind the head, what we don't see. Um, and the reason I always have that dip down is because you want to create depth and we're always going to be drawing 2D when we're drawing on paper um, as it's only two dimensional. But that doesn't mean your brain doesn't want it to feel three dimensional and so we draw things that come in front of other things so that we can see that, we can interpret that, and um, we can feel like, oh, this is based in reality, because be basing things in reality is where art starts. Um, art imitates life. Next, we're erasing our messy lines. This is really easy to do in Photoshop because I have layers. Everything's on a different layer. Every single color here is on a different layer, and so I just go through my layers and erase what I don't need. Now, if I were drawing this in pencil, I would have drawn all of my baselines really lightly and in fact until I was happy with my hair, my face, my eyes, everything would be really light and then I'd go through and darken everything so that I could erase all the light lines um, and then still have my darker lines if I made a mistake and slightly erased one I would still be able to see it slightly and um, draw right back over it. And of course then I always ink. I take one of my black pens and I ink over it and it's happy and it's dark and it's awesome and then I let my ink dry. Always let your ink dry. And then 
after the ink is dried, I can erase all the pencil marks. Um, anyhow, this is how I do pony heads on paper. Um, that's about it. I don't really have an ending slide for this because it's a much longer video, but I'm cutting it in half. So, love always, Ruby.